I'd like to explain to you really what's meant by the word release. Lots of you will have heard it and it's always referred to when players hit the ball. Just exactly what are they releasing? If you release the club you'd let go of it. No, what we're actually releasing is the stored energy that's pent up in the wrist when you get into the hitting area. What we're releasing is the angles in the left and right wrist down into impact that speeds the club up to transfer the power from the club to the ball. Immediately after the release, the follow through begins and release moves into forearm rotation. So as I release, the wrist straighten out and the forearms begin to rotate. If I came down and released the angles too early, I'd end up stubbing the club into the ground. If I'm too late with the release, the chances are I'm just going to top the ball. But then again, if I'm too late with the forearm rotation, I might have released correctly, but I'm too late rotating the forearms, ball's lost to the right. If I release, but then don't rotate the forearms, or I over-rotate the forearms, the ball is going to set off down the left-hand side. So the key is it's a combination of releasing the angles in the wrist and then allowing that to go into a free forearm rotation to send the ball down the fairway, having delivered the club powerfully and squarely to the back of the ball. You get the release right, that is the key moment.